Hi boys and girls, it's Marcy Chevalis and it's story time. Today's story is called The Bernstein Bears Come Clean for School. Oh, I wonder why everyone's getting so nice and clean. Let's go on the back of the book and read a little bit more to give us a preview of what we're going to be reading. Germs are everywhere. With everyone coughing and sputtering around them, brother and sister learn an important lesson about how to stop germs and colds from spreading. Now they just have to teach Papa. Well, that sounds interesting. They get to learn how to stop germs from spreading. That's a good thing to learn. I can't wait to learn more. Are you ready to read this story? I am. All right, let's grow. For all you AR readers, this is an AR book. It's level 3.2, worth a half a point, and it's quiz number 146367. Oh, look, here's a little poem right here. Nasty little germs make you cough and wheeze. Please cover your mouth if you must sneeze. Yep, it's important to cover our mouth if we have to cough or sneeze. Let's read The Berenstain Bears Come Clean for School. It was the first day back at school in bear country. Brother and sister bear were up bright and early. After washing up, they hurried downstairs to join mama, papa, and honey bear for breakfast. Papa was coming to school too as a parent helper. Mama had bowls of hot oatmeal ready with have a great day written in raisins. Oh, how fun. I like oatmeal, do you? Oh, that was kind of mama to fix them breakfast. Do you fix breakfast for your family sometimes? Who fixes breakfast at your house? Hmm. Thanks, mama, said sister, digging into her oatmeal. Yum, yum, added brother. Oh boy, said Papa. I love raisins on my ha 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 choo! Oatmeal, Papa said as he sneezed. Bless you, said Mama. But you should really cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze, Papa, so you won't spread germs. Germs, said Papa. Oh, piffle. Who's worried about a few germs among friends? Oh, boys and girls, raise your hand if you would like someone to sneeze and cough on your food. Uh, not me. Yucky, yucky. I don't want to catch germs. Before Mama could say anything about Papa's views on germs, the cubs were grabbing their backpacks and heading out the door with Papa. Bye, Mama. Bye, honey, they called. Have a nice first day of school, said Mama. Oh, wait, you should wash your hands. That's another way to keep germs from spreading. Wash our hands, said Papa. Oh, Piffle, they look clean enough to, to me. Come along, cubs. Ooh. Mama sighed. <gasps> The cubs always seemed to get sick at the start of school, but it was hard to get the family to follow good health rules. I do hope they learn more about it in school, Mama thought. I think Mama's just trying to protect them. She doesn't want them to be sick. At the bus stop, some cubs were coughing and sneezing. Most didn't bother to cover their mouths and noses. Sister gave her best friend Lizzie Bruin a big hug. Hi, Lizzie, said sister. Are you ready for school? I don't feel very good, said Lizzie. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Poor Lizzie, said sister. You sound awful. Papa shook hands with Lizzie's dad, who was also a parent helper for the day. But Mr. Bruin had a cold and kept blowing his nose. He sounded like a foghorn. Soon the bus pulled up and they all climbed aboard. Achoo! <coughs> oh, goodness. Do you see some different ways that germs might be spreading here? If you do, tell someone around you. When they got to school, they found there was going to be a special assembly. Dr. Gert Gers Grizzly was giving a talk about good health rules. That should make mama happy, said Papa. You'll learn about all those nasty germs of hers. Inside the auditorium, the school custodian, Grizzly Gus, was setting up a slide projector with Mr. Bruin. Hiya, Gus, said Papa, shaking hands. Grizzly Gus had a bad cough, but he didn't bother covering his mouth while he worked. Mr. Bruin kept blowing his nose. The two of them made quite a racket. <coughs> honk! Hmm, cough, cough, honk. Good health rules. I wonder if they're really using good health rules. Principal Honeycomb introduced Dr. Grizzly and the slideshow began. 
Hello, cubs, she said. You all know me. I'm the doctor who's been taking care of all of you since you were born. I see, when you are, I see you when you are sick or hurt, and I give you shots of medicine to keep you from getting sick. But today, I want to tell you about something else that's important for good health, coming clean. Now, let's talk about germs. They're too small to see except close up through a microscope like this. Germs are everywhere. They're in the earth, in the water, on things in your house, on your skin, and inside you. Some even float in the air. Most of them don't hurt you. But some of these little guys are big trouble. Let's think about that, boys and girls. Do most of these germs that are all around hurt us? No, only a few. This is the common cold germ. It's very, very tiny, but it can make you very, very sick. Some of you are coughing and sneezing. This little character is causing all the trouble. Achoo! <coughs> what can we do about germs? We can start by making sure we don't spread them around. When we cough or sneeze, lots of germs get into the air. Then someone else may breathe them in and get sick. Always sneeze into your elbow and cover your mouth when you cough. That keeps germs from spreading. I like how sister's using a napkin to cover her mouth because if she uses her hand to cover her mouth and then she touches something with her hand, ooh, germs are gonna get on that. But if he's coughing or sneezing into his elbow, that doesn't, he's not gonna run and put his elbows on everything, just like she would her hands. These are great tips, boys and girls. But the biggest germ spreaders are hands. Hey, we just talked about that. Germs get on our hands, and we spread the germs by shaking hands or putting things in our mouths. Hmm. To stop this, all you have to do is wash your hands. Washing with soap and hot water gets rid of germs. Always wash your hands before you eat and after you use the bathroom. In fact, it's a good idea to wash your hands whenever they are dirty. Try to wash for as long as it takes to sing happy birthday to you twice. So if you're washing your hands, you're gonna sing happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, and then sing that again. That's how long you should wash your hands. You should try it sometime. I think I'll try it a little bit later. Now here's a friend of mine, Jerry the Germ, with a special message. The cubs all laughed and clapped, and the slideshow is over. Now, said Principal Honeycomb, I want to see all of you get off to a good start by going back to class and washing your hands. The cubs were soon getting lathered up in the class art sink. Aren't you gonna wash your hands, Papa? asked sister. Oh, Piffle, said father. My hands are clean enough. I don't see what the big fuss is over a few little uh, uh, achoo, germs. Bless you, said sister. Ah, ah, achoo. You. When the cubs got home from school that afternoon, they told Mama what they had learned. Mama was very pleased. Isn't that wonderful, she said. That's just the message I've been trying to get across. What do you think, Papa? But Papa just sneezed. Ah, 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 chew! Bless you, said Mama. Are you all right? I don't feel very good, Papa sniffled. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Oh no, his face looks terrible. Was he using good hygiene practices like washing his hands so he won't get sick? Mm -mm -mm. So Mama and the cubs put Papa to bed and gave him some nice hot soup. Then they all went and washed their hands. Let's take a look at some of the Berenstein Bears' come clean for school rules. Number one, always cover your nose and mouth when you cough or sneeze. Two, 
always wash your hands before you eat. Three, always wash your hands after you use the bathroom. Four, wash your hands whenever they are dirty. Five, don't share food that you've touched with others. Six, throw used tissues into the trash. Seven, help your mom and dad clean up and sweep at home. Eight, help your teacher clean up the classroom at school. Those are some great come clean for school rules that we all can use to help us keep our environments nice and clean. Well, boys and girls, if you enjoyed the story, go ahead and click the like button right now. And to hear more stories like this, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, friends.